Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video today. If you are new, welcome. My name is Mallory. If you are not new, welcome back. So today's video is pretty easy. It is a step-by-step -step tutorial on a vinyl wrapped and glitter tumbler. So about two thirds of the tumbler are wrapped in vinyl and the bottom is a glitter. You could obviously switch it up however you want, whatever glitter colors, whatever vinyl pattern you want, totally up to you. Um, I will have all of the products that I use listed in the description below. I was even lucky enough to score some discount codes for you guys as well. So if you haven't tried out some of my favorite products, now would be the time. Counterculture DIY is the company that I use for my epoxy and Glitzy City is the company that I use for all of my glitter. So definitely head to the description section if you guys wanna grab some discount codes and check out some of their products if you haven't already. Um, I think that's it. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. That would mean a lot to me. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for this design, I'm using a 20 ounce skinny and they came prepped white, but it's really not prepped in my opinion. I'm still gonna start by sanding the tumbler and I do this on all my tumblers. This is just going to ensure that your vinyl, paint, epoxy, glitter, whatever it may be, has a good solid base to adhere to. Um, I kind of compare it to prepping your nails before you paint them, same kind of process. So anyways, moving on into the vinyl, this is a sheet of removable vinyl that I got from Zindi's. You could opt for the non-removable. I just feel like if I have any air bubbles or if it doesn't get on straight, this is easier for me to maneuver the vinyl. So I'm gonna start by measuring the cup. The cup is about eight inches tall and I'm dividing it into thirds and eight divided by three was like 2.66. So I just opted to round up to five. So I'll do about five inches of vinyl and then the bottom three inches will be glitter. So here I'm just measuring the vinyl into my five inch strip and then wrapping it around the tumbler. I think I figured out it was about 10 inches across. So five inches wide by 10 inches in a circumference. So here I'm just removing a one inch paper backing from the vinyl. I'm gonna line it up at the top of the cup and start by adhering that. And then I'm just gonna take that flap and my vinyl scraping tool and use that felt edge and just kind of rotate the cup and use the tool and my thumbs to smooth everything out. So I'm just kind of rotating the cup and letting the cup and the paper backing do the work for me. Um, it is a straight tumbler, so it should go on pretty straight. <laughs> That's the goal, right? It doesn't always work that way. And you can see why I opted for the removable vinyl, because I still had some wrinkles and that just allowed it to be pulled up easier and fix any imperfections. So I'm just gonna overlap it a bit and run my knife or my craft knife down where that seam is and make sure you have a nice crisp line. This is a vinyl edging tool. So I'm gonna flip the cup upside down and run it along the bottom. I've used this before. I have a closer video, I'll link that up there, but you basically just run whatever edge you're trying to clean up along the tool and it leaves you with a really crisp, clean line. So from here, we've got our vinyl wrapped. You're gonna make sure that you don't have any air bubbles and it's nice and smooth. And I'm gonna start by taping off that section. Um, you can see there's a few, it's not completely straight on the bottom, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm gonna use this painter's tape and wrap it on that one side where my seam starts. And again, just rotate the cup. And because the cup is straight and this tape obviously is a straight edge. As long as your two ends of tape meet up, that's gonna leave you with a straight line. So any vinyl that's left underneath, you can clean up with your craft knife. 
So just make sure the ends of your tape meet up. I'm gonna do a little bit of an overlap here, that way if any epoxy or paint gets on it, I can still find that edge easily. And there you can kind of see where there's a few pieces of vinyl poking out. I'm just gonna clean those edges up. It is not that big of a deal because we're still gonna paint the bottom and apply glitter and apply vinyl stripes. So any imperfections really can be hidden on this part. So once I clean that up, I'm going to tape off the top of the cup so I don't get any overspray. And I'm gonna paint the bottom to match the color of our glitter. I do this just because I find that I use a lot less glitter if you are matching your base paint to your glitter. So I'm just using a matte navy blue, let that dry for a good 30 minutes or so, and a very, very small amount of epoxy. Use gloves, if not, you stain your fingers. Side note. Anyways, a very, very small amount of epoxy, and I'm using my heat gun to warm up the part where I'm applying epoxy. This is just gonna help smooth it out and really make sure that I have the thinnest coat possible. I'm talking like maybe half a, mil a milliliter on this section. So put your epoxy on once that paint dries, and you could, use just a paint method or Mod Podge method to apply your epoxy. I just prefer the epoxy method. I'm sorry. You could use Mod Podge or paint to apply your glitter. I just prefer the epoxy method to apply my glitter. So no right or wrong way to do this. I seem to have trouble getting my words out today. All right, so here's a beautiful fine cut glue we're using and straightforward process, just apply it all over. I'm just using a normal epoxy. It's not a fast setting or anything like that, so I'm gonna let it dry. Um, I probably walked away and let this dry overnight, but let it at least cure and dry for six to eight hours before you move into the next step. As soon as you're done applying that glitter, remove your tape and your saran wrap because you don't want that epoxy to obviously cure to your saran wrap. So remove that immediately and you will be left with a really clean, crisp line where your glitter and vinyl meet. So I let this cure for quite a while and I'm gonna seal my glitter with a water-based polycrylic. You could do a spray sealant, but I just feel like this is a much stronger hold and this is gonna make sure that none of those little pieces of blue glitter move up into my vinyl because I really wanna keep that separate. So a very, very liberal coat. You're gonna let this dry for two to three hours and then start applying your coats of epoxy. I did two coats of epoxy. Each coat was 15 milliliters. I used my torch in between to pop any air bubbles. And then this is after two coats of epoxy. There's a few little, you know, bumps and it's not completely smooth or flawless. For the most part it is on the center of the cup. The ends are still a little bit rough, but I know that I'm gonna have to do another coat or two. So I'm not worried about the rims yet the rim or the bottom of the cup. But I do wanna make sure that where we're applying the vinyl is completely smooth. So sand that. And then for the vinyl stripes, I am doing two colors. So the larger stripe is going to measure 10 inches wide. So that's our circumference. And then 0.15. So that's gonna be the width of the larger stripe. It's not really large, 0.15 is pretty small, but you only need one of each color. So this one will be the silver that goes on the bottom, and then we're doing another one in blue. And it's gonna be the same circumference, so 10 inches, but instead of 0.15, we're gonna make this one a little bit smaller, so this is gonna be 0 0.075. So when you have your two stripes, that little blue one is just gonna sit perfectly center on the silver one. So once you cut out your vinyl, you're gonna start applying it where your seams meet. You definitely want all of your seams to be in the same place. 
and just pick either the top or the bottom of your line of glitter and vinyl where they meet and just kind of the same steps that we did with the painters tape rotate the cup and let the vinyl and the rotation of the cup do most of the work for you as long as those two ends meet up chances are it's going to be straight so where there's that little bit of an overlap you're going to just take your craft knife and cut it just a smidgen longer than the overlap so you don't have a gap does that make sense so where it meets go just the tiniest of the tiniest tiniest bit over so it kind of overlaps just a smidgen and then repeat this with your other color right where the seam is right in the middle of the vinyl and just kind of rotate the cup and eyeball it not a whole lot of measuring goes on around here so we're just gonna eyeball it if you need to maneuver some of those pieces you can um, just be careful with the thinner pieces of vinyl. They do tend to kind of lose their stickiness. So make sure that you really press it down and it is completely sealed on your cup before you move into the epoxy. So same step, we're just gonna cut that a little bit of an overlap so it lays right on top. Really run your thumb all the way across that vinyl. Make sure it is completely smooth and adhered to the cup. I went ahead and um, I applied a name to this. This is just a layered name in the same colors of the vinyl strips. I'll have a video linked here if you want to know how to do layered names like this with your Silhouette Cameo. But then we just moved into our final coats of epoxy. Two more coats of epoxy, 15 milliliters each. Use your torch in between to pop any air bubbles. And that's it. I do think it's a pretty easy tumbler to make, um, kind of overwhelming at first, but when it's broken down, I think it's really easy. Obviously, so many different variations you could make with this. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on social media, and if you have any questions, let me know. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.